Good afternoon and welcome into the afternoon edition of From Day One. All the craziness that happened yesterday, I'm glad to be back to a regular schedule today. The courtrooms are all the bustling and will start with Judge Middleton in 3B. Along for the ride with us is Mike from Law Talk with Mike for some commentary. Hi, TJ. TJ, get your pants on. Oh, I don't know. All right. Uh, so. All right. Now that we've had fun with TJ, a couple of good Judge Simpson clips coming up here. All right. Where the dogs get it. Let's handle All Judge Simpson. Right. Judy Weinberger versus Kelsey Cotterman. Present, Your Honor. Appearing on behalf of Ms. Weinberger. All right. Actually, hold on a second. I think we've done at least part of this episode. Let's move it ahead. I just can't believe you guys can't even come together to even just make a common sense decision. Counsel for the plaintiff, prepare the order, get it to the court for my signature. Sir, I have one other question for you. Her lease ended yesterday. She has no okay. lease. Okay, that's fine. Why? That, was not a, that was not a question. No, it wasn't, Your Honor. We can do today. Me and Kim asking about this case, and they Thanks sent to her not too long ago some of the documents she had requested. Is there an appearance from Min Kim in the file? There is not. Your Honor, I thought I saw. I thought I, I, I am not appearing for Mr. Stewart today, but I thought I saw him in the Zoom courtroom. I know we did not. He, he's top left. It's pretty funny. He starts waving at the judge, but he doesn't talk. He starts very charming and goes downhill fast. Uh, uh, did you see him? He is. You got him. Where? To the left of you in the Hollywood Squares boxes, Your Honor. Oh, there he is. There he, is. Mr. Stewart. Can you? I see you waving your hand now. Can you talk to me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have you, uh, this is a termination or? It is, Judge. All right, what were we, Mr. Stewart, what were you doing on this case? I don't know. And for those wondering why, skip ahead. We had the very first of these calls from Simpson in a previous episode, so no reason to rehash it here. I'm suing in an park. I'm trying to fight it. They refused a jury trial. Then they turned uh, Miss Min Kim. Yep, they yep. shut me down. They, first they sent me a student lawyer in training. Thank you. And I told her what I wanted to do. I wanted a jury trial. She okay, so they sent him a student lawyer. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that more, and the judge is not amused yeah, Mike, by that please. comment. But again, uh, if you're if you're being appointed someone, it looks like the intake is handed by a student. I believe that's Min Kim, who's top center. Uh, she seems rational to the extent she speaks. But uh, again, it's it's not 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 only am I entitled to to an attorney apparently, but I'm entitled to uh, the attorney of my choosing. I don't think he's entitled to one of the circumstances. It's not a criminal charge. Uh, this is a landlord tenant. I'm not sure what it is. I'm guessing it's it's um, uh, they filed for an order of possession, but I, I I'm just guessing that because we don't we never get to that substance. But that's what the call is. That's why. I'm oh, guessing. okay, Mike. This you gonna do some more investigating, and we'll get back to you whether we're gonna take your case or not. She didn't get back to me because I told her I'm not from here. I'm from Chicago and Milwaukee. Boy, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> anyway. So this is a legal aid clinic. He's not even entitled to this. 
So he's demanding he's got to have a top-notch representation uh, in a town that he doesn't live, but he does live because he's got a lease there uh, for an apartment that he's not paying for, uh, which is uh, I'm only guessing that because that's that's the most likely basis for for the, the uh, attempt to get rid of him. All right. Uh, the, the the entitlement is unbelievable. Off the charts. Man, Kim, Mike. Off the charts. Sent me an email. Ask her, you told me I didn't know who was representing me. I don't know none of these people here. Yeah. Okay, sir. So what? You asked to have somebody from legal services contact you, right? Correct. Okay. Well, so what can. happens is the intake process is sometimes handled by student attorneys. They're not, they are, I guess, in some way in training, but the majority of the way you said that, they could run circles around you in terms of what they know. <laughs> I love that. I love that from the judge. I was thinking it too. Uh, he, 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 he phrased it nicely. He's like, uh, you know nothing. They're doing you a favor. Stop complaining. Stop, so yeah, don't try to put them down in my courtroom. To the extent that you are somehow and or another claiming that Miss Kim did not get back to you, she sent you an email. So the oh, question is, are they going to represent you. you or are you going to find your own lawyer? I can. I'm disabled. Uh, I'm on Social Security. You need to look at Can I please show you something, please? What do you need to show me, sir? I told Mary when I moved here on January 7th that I have COPD, I have asthma, and I can't stand heat and humidity. That's, those are my triggers. No thanks. I have a fan in my door right now because they claim they replaced. I wish I wish I could I wish I could have recorded. They 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 put in another air conditioner and it still doesn't work. Look, 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 look. Sure. Oh. Okay. Sir, are you going to represent yourself or do you wish? I can. I can. Oh, this, this gets yeah, good. I can. Because I can. Sir, don't, don't try to front me. I asked you a question. I didn't ask you thinking you can't. Yes, I'll represent so you. Yourself. So whatever, sir, whatever chip you have on your shoulder, you better take it out because you come before the wrong judge to bring it here. Okay, well, can I do it? You come before the wrong judge to do that. Damn straight. Judge Am Simpson I clear? will fucking take you out. Okay, yes. Am I clear? Yes, you are. I don't think you are, Your Honor. Mr. Novak, judge, let's schedule this for a trial. A jury trial, please. I don't have... You need to file the paperwork for a jury trial. Yeah. He doesn't even want to tell him. Okay, he's like, oh, a jury trial. He just thinks he can demand. All right, the way the way jury trial, you, you can demand a jury trial landlord tenant matter. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it in 3B. I've seen it in real life. It's very rare uh, because it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But the, the way uh, it is is you, you, you're, it's, it's time limited. It depends on the type of action. But just generally speaking, when someone files a complaint and they get service, and you have, let's say, uh, I'll just use generalities because it's different. But usually you have 30 days to respond and file an answer, and, you, and you, you generally need to file a jury demand at that time. And if you don't, it's waived. The judge doesn't even want to tell him this, but he's like, I, I just want a jury, I just want a jury. Okay, then file a jury demand. Big talker, you're representing yourself. Have at it. You know how to do that? No, I don't. Okay, you haven't done it. I'm going to set it for trial. Give me a trial date. <laughs> you haven't done I mean, it. I'm setting it for a bench trial. So now you've just stepped on uh, Judge Simpson's toes, and he's now set it for trial in front of himself, which is appropriate, which is the, the right thing to do. <laughs> but not smart for you. Maybe you should have listened to uh, Min Kim over there, because uh, she would have had you in a better spot than that, I assure you. Yeah, she would have. August 5th. Non-jury trial in this matter, August 5th. 2022, 3.30. August 5th? Yes. 3.30. August 5th. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good morning. What's your name? All right. Well, I just I just thought that was fun. Uh, Judge Simpson didn't even want to tip him off about filing a jury demand because he's looking through the file. He's like, 
I hope this guy doesn't have a jury demand on file because I, I am going to set it for trial now, which is in fact what he did. It's, and it's what I would have done too. I, I agree with it. This is Judge Knight. I like him. Uh, I will say there's one grading thing here. I absolutely love this judge. I don't want to beat him up, but he can't pronounce a commonly mispronounced word. And it's it, it breaks on my skin. It takes a while. I wish someone would tell him because other than that, I think he's fantastic. Uh oh, what word is it, Mikey? Um, he, he is he is just a robo judge. He just plows through here, and then every once in a while, he stops and flashes a little personality. I don't know why. I find it very amusing. As we go, we, we also get on to extradition, and I, I was a former prosecutor, but I never dealt with extradition. I thought it was fascinating because he just kind of goes through the process. Brian Bell. Uh, Mr. Bell, you charge with one count of. Violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. Well, two counts of that. Your bond is 8000 on each. It's possession and possession with intent. Preliminary hearing scheduled for the 18th of July at 8.30. And I am appointing an attorney to represent you. Do you have any questions, sir? All right, thank you. I left a few of these on here so you can see it. Now, this was from today. So this is Sunday of a holiday weekend. And I just love how efficient he is. The, the last time I did it was a few months ago. I did one of his calls. It just makes me laugh. He, he, he does his whole call like he's double parked and he's got to get somewhere. Meanwhile, I can tell that he's, he's he threw his robe on. Other than that, this is a green screen. So he's, he's sitting at his home in his boxers with the robe on. <laughs> And he's going to blow through this call. He does a nice, efficient job of it. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. What's your name? Good morning. Good morning, Greg Bentick. All right, Mr. Bentick. You're charged with one count of driving while license suspended, one count of failure. Failure is a signal. Uh, it's 1500 and 500 2000 is your uh, total preliminary hearing is the 19th of July at 830. Thank you, and, uh, Mr. Bentick, uh, one moment here. See application. All right, sir. I am appointing an attorney to represent you. Do you have any questions? They didn't all get it, though. Just, just the one guy. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good morning. What's your name? Agent Brown. All right, Mr. Brown. Sir, uh, you're charged with one count of battery. The misdemeanor. Your bond is five thousand. There's no contact as a special condition. No contact with April Green. Preliminary hearing is July nineteenth. 8.30, and I am appointing an attorney uh, to represent you. Mr. Brown, do you have any questions, sir? Morning, yes, sir. Good morning to you. What's your name? Uh, General Justice. Say, say your last name for me again. I'm sorry. Say it again. Fonte. Okay. All right, Mr. Fontaine, uh, you're charged with one count of fleeing or attempting to elude uh, the police. That's a felony. It's 5000 is your bond. Red light violate 100. Insurance, 1000 Reckless driving, 1500 All right, so 8000 is total. Preliminary hearing scheduled for the 18th of that July, 830. And also, I am appointing an attorney to represent you. Do you have any questions, sir? Yep. He oh, all, right. all right, thank you. An attorney every time. He spits out immediate bond, and everything's set for the yeah, 8,000. You told him. Uh, he actually had a couple at the 19th, Mikey. <laughs> yes, sir. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> all right, Mr. Griffin. Sir, you're charged with one count of false imprisonment. It's a felony. I sure would. Preliminary hearing is scheduled for the 18th of July, and that is at 8.30. Uh, at this time, there's, there's no contact with uh, Krishana Acklin. 
Also, I will appoint an attorney to represent you. Do you have any questions, sir? Yes, sir. Um, that is not saying we did that. Well, can't have contact with her at this time, all right? Got to put a pause on that until you speak to your lawyer, sir. You both for arrest. You said, I can't allow you all to have contact. I'm not getting on the news with you <laughs> about anything, all right? Talk to your lawyer, get it situated, and then you all can go back to being in love again, all right? I love it. That's the only time he shows any personality. He's just like, all right, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not going Jerry Springer here. I'm just covering myself. There's no contact. Carry on with your day. Well, how much is the bond? 5000 sir. First thing I told you after I told you to charge. Thank you, Aqua. For you have any other questions? Sir. Sure. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, All right, Mr. Hanley, sir, you charge a one count of violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. 5000 is your bond on that offense. Obstructing an officer, 1000 Possession of a weapon during the commission of a crime, 5000 It's 11000 total, sir. Preliminary hearing is the 18th of July at 8.30. See, there's another and, different day, Mikey. Uh, you're hiring your own attorney, sir? Yeah. All right. you have any questions? And right. there's a non-appointment. So my bond is 11000 total, sir? Yes, sir. And yes, sir. That's it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yo, keep the noise down. Yes, sir. What's your name? Good morning, Richard. All right. Good, good morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Jones. So you charge a one count of violation of the Georgia Control Substances Act, DHC vape, 5000 is your bond. Possession of marijuana less than an ounce, fifteen hundred. Drug related objects, five hundred. And possession of a weapon during the commission of a crime is five thousand. Well, Grant. Eleven thousand five hundred is your total. Uh, you forgot the five hundred, Your the Honor. Preliminary hearing is the eighteenth of July at eight at eight thirty. And I am appointing an attorney to represent you. You have any questions, sir? Oh, uh, thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. For design. Can I spread the, the more word? Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning to you. What's your name? John. That's it, dude. All right, Mr. Pierce. So you're charged with three counts of, well, two counts of conspiracy to commit a crime. Ooh, conspiracy. One count of false imprisonment. One count of party to the commission of a crime. Uh, they're all felonies. Ooh, felonies. It's 5000 on each, so 20000 is your total. Ooh, no 20. contact with Jerry Wilkerson. And let's see here, Mr. Pierce. Uh, you have any questions, sir? Uh, no, sir. All right, thank you. Four sure. felonies, 20 grand, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. Twenty grand, got it. You and me, Mikey. Yes, sir. What's your name? There's a Singleton. All right, Mr. Singleton, you charge a one count of criminal trespass. It's a misdemeanor. Twenty-five hundred is your bond. Entering automobiles, felony. Three thousand. You can't return to four seven eight zero Old Dixie Road in Forest Park at this time. Preliminary hearing is the 18th of July at 30, and I am appointing an attorney to represent so you, sir. Do you have dollars. any questions? No, that's it. All right, thank you. All right, get the hell out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, loser, sir. What's your name? No. Oh, show the person. All right, uh, Mr. Percy, your matter has to be continued to tomorrow, okay? We'll return tomorrow. Before I ram it, Josh, okay. usually, that, right, this you. is just a bond part here. On the line, I'll Y'all listen up. On the line. Line reports. See that line report? Right here? Line. Oh, 
lines over there, boys. No, all right. Th th this is uh, – I'm, I'm going to warn you. This is for law nerds. A few minutes of this. But these guys yeah. are all in um, for extradition. And I've never dealt with it. So to me, I was just like, this is fascinating. I, I just I just want to see the way they handle it. I mean, I realize it's just this, this situation. And, and also, it, it surprised me that – well, you'll see. Listen up. Y'all had easy your fugitives, what's up? Yes, sir. Uh, Deputy Bush. All right, gentlemen, good morning to you. All right, so, yes, sir. Yes, sir, gentlemen, good morning. All right, so, listen, um, all of the rights that I outlined, they all apply to you. All the constitutional rights, they all apply to you. Yeah. So, uh, Joshua Brooks. All right. Uh, Ola Adefenwa. All right, and uh, John, John, uh, the Trail Anthony. All right, gentlemen. So you all uh, are charged here uh, on warrants, or there are yes. warrants here, uh, oh, right. and the guaranteed. warrants state that you all are fugitives. So first, uh, Mr. Uh, Edifan, what your warrant reads that you did enter and remain on this, in the state of Georgia, knowing that you were wanted by Collin County Sheriff for theft Thank of you. property. It's a felony, and they will extradite. Mr. Brooks, sir, your warrant reads, you did enter and remain in the state of Georgia, knowing you had an active warrant out of Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, for what the charges for, sir, and they will extradite. And then third, uh, Mr. Anthony, your warrant reads that... Uh, you're wanted uh, by Westmoreland Sheriff for fraud, and they will extradite his felony. So, gentlemen, right now what's happening is that... I, I don't know where Westmoreland is, but they're in Georgia. Tennessee. And I, I, the one for sure is Tennessee. I didn't catch the others. But well, whatever, it's other states, and they're saying, yeah, we want them. You, you got them in custody. We want them. Those, those are warrants. They pick you up. I, I I have no idea how this works. That law enforcement can tell me better. I... You know, I doubt California would pick you up uh, on a Tennessee warrant, but Georgia will. You, you know, it, I, mean, I guess it depends what it's for. If it's for murder, what that's one thing. But uh, you know, they, these are these are all like close, as far as I can tell. What it is is the warrants, Mikey, have a kind of like a geographical region where it'll say that we will extradite within say, 500 miles or 1,000 miles. So, yeah, California being three, four, five thousand 5,000 miles away would not go ahead and pick up and hold for Tennessee because Tennessee wouldn't extradite all the way from California. But being right next door in the state of good old Georgia, they're like, yeah, that's within our 500-mile deal. Yeah, we'll, we'll send an officer down to go get his ass. The OCGA, which is the official code of Georgia, annotated title 17 chapter 13 it states that you all have options you have two options today your first option is to fight or contest the formal extradition process here in georgia so while you fight that you will remain in custody in the clayton county jail i'm not granting a bond because you're a fugitive so i can't give you a bond today right so what will happen is you'll remain in custody. You can remain here in Clayton County Jail for up to 90 days. Of course, it can be shorter or it may be longer if there's an extension. However, what you can contest are only four things. The That's first is whether the charge that I outlined to you is an actual crime still. So, for example, like some states for Marijuana might not be a crime or it might be decriminalized. So you can say, okay, this, this charge is not a valid charge anymore in the location that is seeking to extradite me back. Secondly, you can challenge whether the extradition documents are invalid. So the warrant I just read and any other documents, you can challenge and say that's invalid. It's no good. Thank you. Third, you can contest whether you are, in fact, the named person. Are you Mr. Edu Fenwa, are you Mr. Brooks, uh, or are you Mr. Anthony? You can say, I'm not that person. You can challenge that. And lastly, 
you can challenge whether you are in fact a fugitive. So don't. As, as soon as he said that, I thought, oh boy, do we have a soft sit in the group? You know, that's going to play name games. Turns out, no. Those are the only no, four he's things required that you to can challenge. Four off Nothing Mikey. else. You can't say whether you're guilty or not guilty. That's not for here in Clayton County for the judges here to decide. That's for the respective location that has this extradition uh, pending to have you return. Some other dude did it. Is the is the close cousin to uh, Shaggy's? It wasn't me. Huh. <laughs> the second option, you can waive the formal extradition proceeding. That means you're giving up the process of fighting. You're saying I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna just face it wherever that is and deal with it there. That process uh, will allow either you to be transported or for you to. Uh, be taken to that location, and that generally can happen for about 10 days. It can be less, you, or it can be an extension. It can be longer. So those are your options, gentlemen. Uh, at this time, uh, I must ask you whether you wish to waive the formal extradition proceedings here in Georgia, or you wish to contest or fight the formal extradition procedures here in Georgia. Mr. Andy Fenwa, I'm working, sir. All right, so waiver. All right, and I see that uh, I believe Deputy Bush gave you the forms. If you can go ahead and sign all of those, sir. And uh, do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No questions. All right. Mr. Brooks. I'm waiver. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, go ahead and fill out the form, sir. And uh, do you have any questions? I was fascinated to see if these guys were going to waive or not. So far, we've got two out of three waivers, and I think the judge did a nice job of explaining this to them. I could see everybody getting confused because they want to fight about the underlying charge. And, and for instance, if you're saying, look, you're facing a charge in Tennessee, I'm a judge in Georgia. I'm not here. I don't have the law of Tennessee. I have jurisdiction over it. Uh, oh, the soft sense, we get all excited. I literally don't have jurisdiction over it. What I do have jurisdiction over is presiding over what are we going to do about extradition because Tennessee's asking. Because your ass is here, That's Tennessee it. wants you your ass. Can't get into the substance of the case. They're all the same. It's, it's all the same form duplicated. So uh, once you look at one, all of them be the same. Do you have any questions, Mr. Brooks? <clears throat> all right, Mr. Anthony, what's your what's your uh, decision, sir? Thank you, Zoe Z. Wait. Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, I don't follow do you have any wave. questions? No, they all wave, Mikey. I, I'm guessing. The, I'm guessing these guys are pros because they're, they're like, now nah, that you know, fighting extradition isn't going to do anything but delay. It's going to. I'm going to end up doing a bunch of time in Georgia before I go get let, likely get convicted in the other jurisdictions. So let, let's just move on with it. Um, you said it won't wait how long that it take? It's 10 days, but they can ask for an extension, all right? So it's usually about 10 days, but they can ask for an extension, but generally it's that time period. All right, you have any other questions, sir? Yeah, that's what I was asking. Like, what's the excuse like? Time frame on the I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's brutal that the defendant can pronounce the word right and the judge can't. It, it really is. And I really do like this judge, but please, somebody help him. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to ask for. They might say, okay, you know, it's a hurricane or a storm. It's tropical storms happening right now. That We need five days or two days or one day. I don't know. So I don't want you to quote me, all right? I, I don't like giving definite answers because I don't want nobody saying what the judge said because I have no idea. All right? But that's that's the time period, generally. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Mr. Brooks. We will warn if they ask for an extension. Can you say that again? No. Because they will be informed if they ask for an extension. Yes, sir. That's two defendants who can say it right now. All right. Any gentlemen? No, no, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I have a good fourth. Uh, Deputy Ashu, Deputy Bush. I'm not sure who else is over there with y'all. Deputy Ashu, Deputy Bush. She's not here, y'all. Deputy, 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 Deputy. All right. Deputy Bush, what's going on with you? Nothing much, Your Honor. You doing all right today? I'm good. Have a good fourth, and uh, y'all and.
All right, I'll see y'all soon. Mikey, did we lose you? Ah, oh, well, there you have it. I just thought that one was interesting. Uh, first of all, he cracked me up when he said, "I'm not, I'm not getting on the news with you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was. But he had to set it up with with his with about four of his uh, buzz call uh, norm, normal appearances first to appreciate how funny it is when when he deviates from the script. Um, he, he's a fun judge. I like him. He just. Just needs to learn how to pronounce one word. That's all. Oh, you uh, and your word. This stuff is all good. But I appreciate you all coming out. Wait a second. Wait, man, man. What do you got, Mikey? Oh, Carolyn Rigodos, four ninety nine. My very first super chat. Just for you, Mike. A super chat? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mikey. Alright. Let's see. Do we have something small? I guess we don't, but at least not for me. Uh, so let's do a little bit of a lesson from Judge Perkins. Judge okay. Perkins? Let's move on now. Now we're at Kittens. I'd like to hear the offer, um, considering <clears throat> what brought me to drive it and the fact that I no longer have it. Don't, don't say anything, ma'am, because now, you know what you've just done? You done fucked up. Just put yourself in the vehicle. By talking. You just, you, you, you know, the, 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 what makes this country so sobering is those words, you have the right to remain silent. And what you, but what you say can and will be used against you. So the people have a total obligation to prove every single element of the, of the crime. You have no obligation at all. And if you don't say anything, like, um, yeah, I just want to let you know what got me to drive and getting in this car. Now we know that you were driving. We don't know that the plate was dirty. We don't know that you had your seatbelt on, whether you had your seatbelt on, whether the plates were unlicensed, whether there was no mystery, whether you didn't have insurance or you didn't have registration. But we at least know you're driving. Other countries... Like China and things like that, if they say, uh, Miss, Miss Giddens, tell us what you did. Tell us why you're here. If you don't say anything, then they're going to be like, okay, she's not talking. So she's, we, we know she's guilty of something. Let's give her some time. They don't do that here. I told y'all, y'all, let's get this, uh, let's get Miss Gentry to show y'all how it's done. No offer, just like everybody else. But let's see what Miss Gentry does. We already know what Miss Gentry's going to do. That's because Miss Gentry is awesome. This is City of Detroit versus Navy Lee Gentry, case number SP120-9385, counts 1, 2, and 3. SP120-9406, counts 1, 2, and 3. Appearance for the record, please. Yeah, Regina Triplett on behalf of the defendant. All right, Ms. Gentry. You going to tell on yourself? No. What me? No. No. <laughs> She's going to exercise her right to remain silent, right? And you're going to set a trial date, right? And make them prove you guilty. Yeah. That's it. Trial. March. The 28th. 2022. 9 a.m. I'll see you back on that morning, ma'am. All right, Judge. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day. You a smart girl. Okay. I know you're registered. 
the role, Miss Gentiliani? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm 72, I'm 74 years old. I've been registered. Well, you should have told on yourself, because I never would have known it. But I'll tell you what, you can, you can teach Mr. Lamb a whole lot. I know that. And Miss right. Kitty. And Miss Lamb. That's Mr. right. Mr. Lee and Mr. Owens, you can teach me something. <laughs> yes, you could, Your Honor. So, you just show them. I'll see you back on March 28th, ma'am. Thank you very much. And of course, that will be the end of the court cases for this afternoon. Come on back tonight, where I do promise we'll have a good full hour of our fraudsters, auditors, solicitors, and Karens getting us back in the groove. And our bell will be back with something. I'm not exactly sure what. I've got to figure out what going to happen. But he will be back tonight in the overnight. Until then, please help us like, share, and subscribe. Get to the goal of 50,000 views, 1,000 subscribers. So box you over next year sends us those nice red packages that we can send to all you nice, lovely folks who keep subscribing and keep helping us get that number higher and higher as we're now over 55% to those boxy present goal. Going Bayside by the game .gg, you know the drill on those. Go ahead and get your free... $10 free when you do sign up, and of course, then more as you use it. And until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another, and always, always, always release the crackheads. As we march along this afternoon, and every afternoon, here, from day one. Again, the Fraud Editors, Auditors, Substance, and Karens are back in the evening tonight. And Art Bell will be back in his normal spot in the overnight. Until then, again, like, share, and subscribe, kind of one another, and release the crackheads as we march along here from day one. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you tonight.